this is Amber with Life on Maple and in today's video we're going to be pulling out all the ball stuff and getting um, some decorating done in our living area for your I'm so glad to show you and excited to show you all the stuff that we have things we've collected over the years some of my favorite pieces if y'all hear our chickens right now by the way they're right like under the camera <laughs> um, they are free ranging out on the property right now, you guys. It is like almost fall. The mornings are starting to get a little crisp and cool. The leaves are starting to change colors. It's so beautiful out here. Um, and y'all, it's just the coziest, funnest time of the year. So, um, I'm super excited to show you what we have. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We drop videos every single Tuesday, um, doing all sorts of things, day in the life, home decor, design, um, projects on a budget, DIY, all the things. So hope you are um, ready to go take out, take a look at all the stuff that we have to pull out um, and make sure you watch till the end. As you know, there's always bloopers when you're hanging out with this crew. So let's go inside. Where are we going? Big box over there this big box some things that we had on the shelves just stored downstairs and then a few not many but just a couple new things so we are gonna get to pulling things out seeing what we're gonna do in here I'm probably gonna start just pulling things off that I don't know if I'm gonna use and just making a little pile especially like some of our different pillows and such um, and we'll go from there So these are also from Home Goods, and I thought a really great price. This one was only $12.99, and this one, $9.99. So, really pretty. I've seen some similar at World Market in like the $25 to $30 for these. Um, and they are authentic, 100% recycled glass, handmade in Spain. All right, this, so this blanket was something new. This one um, is from Home Goods, and it was like a waffle material, but it's super, super soft, and it was $24. So this one was a little bit of a splurge, but I absolutely love this.
that metal power. I don't I just need the help. Ooh, these look sloppy. Alright, can you go through Eddie, will you throw all these in the trash right here? Will you throw these? These are dirty. Those can go in the trash can. And this one. And this one. Thank you. So I absolutely love how our foyer turned out. The pillows that we chose, I feel like goes great with the bench. Um, and so it wasn't something that we had to change out the bench, the colors in it just look beautiful. Um, this pillow right here was one of my favorite finds at Home Goods. I actually saw it a couple times and decided, or before I bought it, and after loving it so many times, I was like, okay, you're coming home with me. So love, love, love the foyer. I think it turned out beautiful. So y'all, decorating with kids can definitely be a challenge. Um, there is some just absolutely beautiful inspiration that I've seen over um, this year from other people. But when decorating our house, I'm really trying to keep in mind that um, the people that live here, specifically the two little people, are four and two. And so a lot of the decor I use needs to be things that are soft and things that aren't going to break. Um, so I've got a few more things that I want to get added in here. Um, but anything that I add is going to have to keep in mind the fact that uh, the 21 month old is most likely going to pick it up and throw it. Um, and so if it can't last that, then it's probably not going to last and not worth me spending money on right now. Um, but I absolutely loved how the colors all came together, especially our couch. It's such a cozy place to hang out. Alright friends, so we're going to put together a little arrangement. This is a glass base that I got at Home Goods. It's only $10 um, and it's like a nice thick glass. So we are going to put in these eucalyptus branches. Um, I love, they're dried eucalyptus, so you got to be a little careful with them. Um, but when I'm doing like, especially glass, um, where you can see through the, the base, I like doing about three picks. I feel like if you start to get more down in there, it looks really I don't know, kind of cluttered. Um, so I'm gonna do one this way. Try to be careful so I'm not breaking these. And the one over here, um, you can see this is like a really pretty um, rust kind of color and, um, or like crimson -y maroon. And then this one is more brown. Got one little guy that's trying to break on me. So we'll see if we can kind of use some of these other branches in here to kind of keep him up, keep him upright without making him any worse. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna swap these just to kind of spread out the color a little bit, but I think it looks great. So I just love these little pumpkins that I have sitting in this basket over the fireplace. I think they turned out so cute. Um, and our arrangement up on the top with our picks looks beautiful. I love the colors in it. Um, they really pop and are just some really cozy colors for fall. Um, on our fireplace mantle, I put some picks from um, Hobby Lobby. And I believe these pumpkins right here are from Hobby Lobby as well. I love the texture in them. And again, something that's not going to break um, if it gets tossed around in our house. Um, this pumpkin right here is a favorite, I believe, also from either Kirkland's or Hobby Lobby. I've put it outside before, but I really like how it looks on the white um, brick fireplace. So. These are just some of my favorite little things for fall. I found these cute little pumpkins at an antique store. I believe 
This piece right here is from Hobby Lobby as well from like two years ago. And I do not remember where these little wooden pumpkins are from, but they are so cute. They might be from Hobby Lobby, but I love, love, love them. I think they're adorable. Um, I've had so much fun decorating. Addison got to help me a really good bit and she really loves sitting all the pumpkins out. She actually did these three right here and I thought she styled them super, super well. Um, they're just some different textures, a velvet pumpkin and two little plastic pumpkins from Hobby Lobby. And then over on our banner over here that we did kind of on my sideboard, this was just like a little homemade banner or no, I don't know, maybe this wasn't. I think maybe I bought this actually. Um, I can't, rem can't remember, that's so sad. Um, but I love that banner and then I rearranged some things over here on um, the sideboard. I added that glass base um, that's orange, put in a little bit of dried eucalyptus, added some pumpkins, and I just think that it turned out absolutely beautiful. I love how all of the colors came together for the room um, and just gives that cozy vibe. We like to keep our back doors open a lot and so it's just, you can literally feel fall on the inside of your house. this week's video um, showing you guys the living area and a couple little things in the kitchen but a full fall home tour is going to be coming in the next week or two. I've got a few more things that um, I want to grab for the kids rooms, a couple things for our master um, and then I'll walk you through like one big home tour. You can kind of see the porch, it, the um, back porch and everything decorated for fall and then we're going to do this fall a video on decorating the front porch which I'm so excited for. This is like the porch of my dreams. Um, so anyways, I hope you guys love the video. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, um, if you have any ideas or would make any changes. Um, and then make sure to subscribe to the channel. Remember we release videos every Tuesday and check out the bloopers. All right, bye guys. Hey friends and welcome back to our channel. This is Amber with Life on Maple and in today's video we are going to be, blah, blah, blah. oh my gosh, it's raining. Um, but we are so ready. Sorry, I just got distracted. One of our chickens is right down there. It's scared. Okay, let's read. read what am I going to say? Okay, I'm just going to set these up where you are. 